Hey YouTube family, welcome back, welcome. Give me my hachi bar. Welcome back you guys. We are headed Whoa. to Miami. Why? We're headed to Miami. With Jessica, family vacation. Hey Stretch. First time family vacation. For us. That Jessica ever made it because the first family hi first family vacation she chose to drive the dog across the I said we were talking about that earlier we cannot believe you drove casino across country what do you do with him shut him up put him in the fucking <laughs> anyways so we are headed we are headed to Miami to get Jessica's BBL ooh it's gonna be a it's gonna be a new body when we land <laughs> it better be. <laughs> Oh, Javon, looking like a scammer, scammer. Look, you guys, y'all tell me to tell him to pull his pants up. I do. I tell him every day, pull him his pants up. I told you somebody's gonna come around. Somebody go. I told you to keep sagging. Somebody gonna put their in your butt. You're only supposed to put your fingers on my butt cheeks. Oh yeah, juicy got her customized press-ons. Oh, they're press-ons? Mm-hmm. Juicy Baby. Face? Is that for your face? All right, Jessica wants to see. Come here, dude. He looks like Bruno Mars. A little rapper. Oh, I used to always say Bruno. Come here. Stop, stop. stop. If you ever leave me, baby, <laughs> leave some. Look at your stepson. Think you have lies. <laughs> Think you have lies. I got no damn life. Right, so we're sitting here eating Jersey Mike's trash. It's so dry, guys. What is it? It's dry. The bread is so thick. They don't even freaking toast it. I'm but it's a five-hour flight, so we gotta we gotta eat. <laughs> Cheers. How's your sandwich? <laughs> It's so cold. <laughs> what? <laughs> you choking? The bread is so thick and dry. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because Jay don't like he don't like tomatoes and I don't know about onions. He iffy sometimes though. So. You said no tomato. So we just got to baggage claim and there is those guys, the three guys in the brown. Oh my God, they created a headache on the fucking plane. That in the movie, so that's one. The one in the brown. They just been stirring drama all fucking day. The one in Burberry. They had got into it with her. You okay? <laughs> they had got into it with her over the phone. It's been a mess. Look, and they still turning up. Everybody on this flight is irritated by them. <laughs> you can read the rule. Everybody is so irritated with them. They were so loud the entire time. He's flicking him off. He need to whoop his ass. Flipping the guy that was sitting next to us and his family that was sitting behind them. Look at them. It's so bad. It's like three. It's like literally three toddlers. Took the asses out. <laughs> They're bad. They're fucking bad. Look at that. So annoying. All three of them. Hi right, guys, now we're on a bus. It feels like the metro bus back in the day, back home. Uh, actually, the ride on. The ride on was blue. <laughs> and we're headed over to get um, our lug. I mean, a rental car, but I'm definitely gonna freaking do my makeup and get changed because we don't check in until like 3 4 o'clock. Look, look at this duck. Hold on. Oh yeah, mommy, come here. Look at this duck just beating up this other duck. I don't know if they're humping. Hey. Are they humping? Hey. Get on your um. Get up. Uh, go to a regular camera. Hey. I think so. I thought he was killing him. Oh, he gonna come get us. Y'all put on the show. Ew, his thingy is hanging out. I see it. Oh, it's just hanging out the back. You see it dingling? I didn't know ducks have dingling. All right, so we got here really early, so we can't check in yet. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. 
Um, I did my makeup at the bathroom, I mean, the, hotel, the bathroom in the airport. And we're about to just catch a quick movie. We're about to go see a 4D movie for the first time. We're gonna go see Shazam. We got McDonald's for breakfast, and yeah, that's that. This theater is nice, guys. Oh. Super nice in here. We got little red and black couches. Super nice. And we're gonna do 4D. Okay, let's get drinks because I'm thirsty. It's very aggressive. Okay, guys, so we made it out of the 3D movie. And, um, oh, 4D, I'm sorry. That, that shit was aggressive. That was very aggressive. I don't know how Jay Bond slept through that whole thing, but 4D movie is very aggressive. It's really, it was good, but it was freezing. Okay, anyways, we made it to, this is Elena, and this is I, Elena. Hi. Okay, and they, they are with Miami Life Plastic Surgery, you guys. They do all of the bookings, and they've been walking Jessica through everything. So, so excited. Um, we're gonna, oh no, YouTube is gonna come out, so y'all gonna see all this shit later anyways. But anyways, just want y'all to see them. We'll see them again tomorrow. Look how beautiful they are. Okay, so we finally made it to Airbnb. We went to Publix. <laughs> Ew. Okay, the kids, double room. It has bathroom. They have a shower, a toilet. It's cute. Then we have living space. One living space. It's very spacious. Jessica room where she'll be recovering. We in Stretch's room. Really nice Airbnb. They got shower. Ooh, nice shower. Toilet Stretch doesn't like that the door doesn't close. <laughs> nice closet space. Double sink. I know, that's why you're in there. And then they have little dining table, living room area. I love the kitchen, like my favorite spot. That's how he is. He likes his privacy. He does not reply. And then look, the bucket pool I was talking about. How you open this? There's a bucket pool, and they try to make it look as cute as possible. They got the Miami Nights. Right, they have some berries out here. I want to try it. Oh, Mama. You're not that much taller than Mama. I think I've seen the juice made of this. I wonder if I can eat these berries. It's very juicy. Like it has a lot of... I bit into it. It's like kind of tart. It's not really sweet. It needs sugar. All right, better take a nap, I'm tired. Look, I hate this hat, the hat is just so large. All right, about to take a nap. Got busy day, got busy week. See okay you guys, so I just got ready. Okay, so Jessica went to get all of her x-rays and stuff done this morning and I'm heading over to the place. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm about to go over there and right now I have to show you the facility that they got two locations. So uh, I'm gonna we'll head over there to show you guys their facility. So check out my outfit. I'm in that boom boom pow. Them cheeks be pow pow pow. All right, guys, we just pulled up at the facility. It's really nice. Look at them fucking pigeons. I hate pigeons. My look, it's in a really nice shopping center black and white Miami past the surgery life they got cute palm trees in the front love it love it all right let's go check out the inside so where are we at where are we at Miami life Miami well, life this this is the call center say hey girls hey so when you are calling to get your BBL guys this is the call center they're gonna hit you with how how do you say it huh what do you start when you answer the phone hello 
Hi, this is Lisa with Miami Life Plastic Surgery. How can I help you? Hi, I would like a BBL. <laughs> Love it. So it's busy. It's a bunch of people, you guys. So they're always going to be here to um, service you. Okay, bye, girls. Bye. bye. We're at Miami. <laughs> so Jessica's in here getting her EKG, you guys. So that's what she's doing. Nervous? Super. We're almost there. We're, We're almost there. Nerves. Nerves. Look, guys, you know me from Jolie. Oh my God. <laughs> so we're in here waiting for the doctor, you guys. Oh. Pico Mosa, how you doing? What you in here for? Welcome to Miami Live Plastic Surgery. Wow, look at you, sexy man. What you want to get, do? You want a booty? No, I was trying to get my cash. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, you know. I don't know. Let me see if we do that. <laughs> hmm. You have to take the muscle out of your dingling to put in your cash. I'm good. No? No, thank you. Do you have extra dingling to spare? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even use a fucking laptop. I wouldn't know what to do. A Karen's, this is Karen's desk. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a Karen's desk. Karen Martinez. Yeah, is that you? Is it you? Is it you? Jessica, we're almost getting this surgery. Yay! I know. I'm so excited. It's been four years. It's been 40. Yeah, 40, 40 years. Yeah, right, she's 40, about to get a booty. That's exciting. Exciting. It's my prime. Yeah, it's your prime. It's never too late for an ass. Never. You still have another four year, 40 years to live, so. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Thank you. 80? 80's good. 80's a good day. I thought, yeah. Like average, right? Yeah, 80's average. I mean, why would I don't you want to live that live old. Longer? Like I wouldn't. You can't wipe your own butt. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. Hi, yeah. ah, yes, oh, Mimi. Nice to meet I you. I met you before. You met me before? Yeah, yeah on TV. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you too. And this is Stretch. How are you? Come and have a seat. Alright guys, this is the doctor that's going to be, the Dr. Nassif that is going to be doing Jessica. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Are you more comfortable? You're fine. Jessica, how are you? Oh, I'm nervous. Like happening. Let me make sure I get you the young lady to be with us. Okay. Even though we have enough people here, right? Alright, yes. Party, party, party. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm just nervous. Time has come. I know. It went by fast. We have less than 24 hours. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. I'm about to go stuff our face. We've been waiting for 40 years. <laughs> 40 years? 40 years. I don't know about that. 40 years. Well, at least four since I met her. Yeah. I waited for you two 47 years. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to just go through a routine. Nothing major. I see the medication you're on. Uh, you're going to stop that medicine today and you're going to stop it tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't take it. Today. As well. Yeah. Tomorrow as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no surgery in the past? No. First time, first time. First time. Mm hmm. Might get addicted. And she thought she was going to get everything done in one day. Addicted? For <laughs> what? It's yeah. simple. Addicted well, to have, surgery. Don't blame her. She's next. the one who brought you in there. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. We're going to take this She's big back and we'll put it down so, here. So, who's going to be taking care of you afterwards? You will be? Oh. <laughs> He will help. He's a germaphobe. He's, a germaphobe. He's like, ew. You're like me, look. Look what I have here. Here's my Lysol. Lysol. <laughs> He's going to be at the door. Hey, we'll put the Lysol here, okay? Me, uh, so me and the kids are going to be. Yeah. Me and the kids. We're going to go home, meet her and the kids. And, like, wow. I have two kids. How many do you have? Two. My son is uh, 14 and my daughter's nine, so they're big. They can... And she's their nanny, so then now they have to take care of her. Fourteen and nine. Yeah, she's been taking care of them well, the for four years. Can, uh, can he is not. You. <laughs> <laughs> no? Actually, he probably helped I me out with juice. juice. Come on. <laughs> You're the only man here. I mean, if she wants something to drink, something to eat, I can listen. No, no, you just have to like kind of walk her to the walk her in the house. That's it. <laughs> well, you, you, you gotta do something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some things to hey, do. Hey, Dr. Natif, my nails will be wiping her ass. You know. Oh. <laughs> What's it called uh, on the plane? Uh, what? When they the warriors, African warriors or something? Uh huh. It's on it's on Southwest. Uh huh. Uh, oh. Uh, Arma, what was that? The, the woman. The woman. Woman, the king. Warriors. woman, woman king. king. Yeah, woman, woman king. king. That's what they use. But Their they're, nails. They're more like mm, uh, sharp. Uh, Oh, oh, that's the he, don't, he don't let me wear sharp nails no more. He you said don't? I stab him. Yeah, because I stabbed him. I don't blame you. I get stabbed. I mean, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are open at night when you sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty healthy, Jessica. Nothing major. No. Good, good, good. Some gloves here just to put them on. And we're going to obviously we'll talk about the examination a little while. So after surgery, do you know what you need to do? No. I mean, you know, walk. for her. Yeah. You know, walk but... for sure. 
walk. You're gonna drink plenty of fluids. Oh yeah. A lot of fluids, it's important to drink plenty of fluids. I want you to keep breathing, deep breathing, coughing, because we want to get that anesthesia, get, get your lungs expanding again. Okay. Um, you have, you can get some Pedialyte, some Gatorade a little bit, you know what I mean? A okay. lot of fluids, you have to be going to the bathroom every two, three hours. Okay. Because the more fluid you get, the more you go to the bathroom, but you're the more hydrated you will be. Because liposuction causes what? You lose fluid, fluid mm -hmm. you lose the fat, and you lose some blood, of course. So obviously, you know, iron you're taking, etc., to get your blood back up. It yeah. takes some time. Good leafy vegetables, good food, you know. She's good for that. Eat yeah. healthy, you'll take good care mm -hmm. of her with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just want you to be as healthy as possible afterwards because it's as important as the surgical procedure. Here I can do the best I can for you, but outside keep an eye on you, of course. But I want to be extra yeah, extra careful with yourself. A lot of water, a lot of drinking. It takes about twenty four hours to start feeling much better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have this, we're not having kids. You have any children? Oh yeah, this right there. I don't oh, okay. have children, I have her, her kids. Double boob? Of course. You're <laughs> your own. No, one doctor is like double boob. He's like, you should have one set. So we gotta see before and one after, set. guys. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is, obviously we're gonna divide the abdomen into two halves. We're gonna try to do symmetrical. What we're gonna be doing is basically divide the belly into two That's halves. That's what I've been waiting for, yeah. guys. And what we're going to do, you can see these areas you don't like at all. There's ribs underneath, but these areas are going to be liposuction. This whole area is going to go. Um, the skin, obviously, you have a little stretch marks. You see that yeah. little stretch mark here. Not, nothing major. I'm not worried That's about That's when this. the weight loss, but yeah. these will all shrink. You have to keep, continue good compression, a very good compression for about three months and up to a year after that. Okay. The longer you wear your faha, the Correct. better the result is. Oh, okay. Definitely. That's why Ming and Connie they gave up so fast. Yeah. That's why they they just uh, like let them be on. The to stay on for three months. After three months, you can put a waist trainer. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You know, or okay. something. Or faha. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. need compression. Okay. Obviously, the ribs I cannot change, but these we can make a huge difference in you. And I know you'll be good. And when you when you compress, don't compress down, so this compress doesn't right. get compressed up. Because there's a chance we might not need to do that many tummy or tummy if we have to. If this compress and goes in, then you don't need to have the scar yeah. across. You know? Yeah, yeah. You I can have, have you a, can work out and tighten. Yeah, your, your stomach's not that bad. I think so. But when you when you put your foam, obviously, put your foam up. Yeah, I, so, I do that with my pants anyway. I'm perfect. Sure. That will do it. Now what we'll do is we will have you will have obviously I'm examining. There's no hernias at all. We worry no. about. No. And you have you're pretty. Tight. The muscles are good. There's not much separation. Well, I'm sucking in a little bit. Well, it doesn't matter. Nothing. To do. Even if you suck in, it won't make a difference. Relax, relax. <laughs> you say even if you suck in, it won't make a no difference. You can suck in, it won't make a difference. The fat won't go in. <laughs> fat will stay out. I was told that's how I got these. I read somewhere that when you suck in, that's how you get no, out here. Don't read. Oh, okay. Don't read that too much. <laughs> it's not that. That happened basically when we when we gain weight, we get in different places. Mainly here, uh -huh. mainly around the umbilicus, and obviously the lower abdomen. Yeah. And obviously it goes in, into the waist area okay so that waist we want to make it in Oof. now remember you have the bone here yeah. i can't go through the bone right right but i can make that waist shrink it yes and that's what we want to do okay i wish i can make the bone in more but yeah, that's sorry. your pelvis that's that doesn't just, change mm -hmm. much. Have to have kids. But that will shrink it you know okay that's what we want we want that good shrinkage okay turn around let me yeah. see let's check out this back yeah. <laughs> Mimi's yeah, been waiting for this here. this back now this one you are hiding lift up. it from me Hi lift up oh, the yeah, yeah. There okay, go. that's good. Put your arms down. Okay. He said you're hiding that from me. So these <laughs> these little rolls here, or medium to be nice. <laughs> you don't have to be nice. He said medium <laughs> to be nice. <laughs> well, we're gonna get more from here. Pull back. Yeah. This obviously neck. We don't do much here because right. you bleed and there's not much fat. Right. right. You know, we're gonna go to this area. I'm gonna go through here all the way down to the anterior part. I'm gonna go through these as well, as you see. Now, uh, the waist, obviously, you are happen to be wide. Again, as I told you, you have a little bit either. This leg is longer yeah, or this so. leg is shorter because you are tilted that way. Mm -hmm. Even though your shoulders are good, but you got a little tilt. The other thing we see is scoliosis. When your spine is a little curved, oh, okay. not straight down. When it's curved, that. you kinda, you move that way or you move that way. Okay. So the length of the legs and the spine can make a difference of symmetry. Yeah. Okay. And everybody, I had that know, too. I had that. Yeah, one of my hip is higher. Can I take a look at the buttocks? Oh, yeah, if you're okay with that. Now, legs I cannot change. You're right. very tight, very I know. strong. Holy moly, you're strong! Holy moly, you're strong. <laughs> yeah, she has um, very strong thighs. Yeah. We're gonna work on that little what we call little sacral area, okay. little tail area here to bring it down. This is gonna go in, and we're gonna have to bring out your hips. Yeah, 
extend your hips. So that will be the markings for, we'll mark you again tomorrow before surgery. I can feel it here. That's gonna be the top part. We're gonna put fat transfer into that area to give you more projection throughout. These are your folds. These cannot uh -huh. change, obviously. And then we're gonna expand that to try to give you some more hips. Now we have to be careful with the hips because we don't want it to go too much wide because right. your legs are small. Yeah. Right. Does it make sense? I try to. You look like a lollipop, and we don't do that. <laughs> no lollipops here. We can. So we'll expand. You can see I'm on bone. Remember, I'm gonna be using an ultrasound mm -hmm. as I inject, and I'm gonna inject above the muscle. Okay. Above the muscle, not into the muscle. Okay. Because you can have higher risk of getting a fat embolus. Okay. Fat I'm going meaning a clot, fat that can go up and can be fatal. So okay. we're going to go above the muscle and to double check, I'm always using an ultrasound to show me where my cannula is. Now you can see above the muscle under the skin, you're tight. You don't have a lot of room here, as you see. But we can fit somehow to give you a better shape. Okay. Yeah. You know, there's limits how much I can fit yeah. because there's no space, as you know. Yeah. In, in your case, there's no space. Yes. And the legs are not going to change the thighs, right. you know. So these are skin roll. Let's go back to this area. Yeah. There's not all fat. Fat can come out, but the skin, when you empty the fat from this area, you have empty space inside. How do you shrink it? You compress. Okay. You compress. When you compress on the empty space, the skin will do what over time? Shrink. Goes shrink. in and shrink. Yeah. yeah. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was telling Brian Why you have wider hips? Because your legs are small. Yeah. So technically when your legs are small, the hips are a little bit wider. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And you notice that all the time. And you can touch it and you can see how hard it is. Yeah. How tight it is. But you're going to get, get a that great, you're going to get a great okay. results as long as you comply with post-op care as well. Okay. And there are a lot of things we use like J-plasma. Uh, yeah, you mentioned J-plasma. Yeah. I mentioned to you post-op, like radio frequency. There's a lot of places you can get when you go back home, radio frequency, yeah. um, compression, massages, you know, yeah, all these yeah. will help you because what's important is I do my liposuction symmetrically, but the question is how is that skin is going to shrink? Yeah. And when yeah. you put just the faha by itself, it will wrinkle. Oh, it will be like yeah. seams everywhere. Uh -huh. If you put the foam belt or the foam underneath, okay, it, they will not wrinkling. That means the skin will shrink equally. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You know, because you're not, even if you do this, the foam is going to keep equal yeah. compression. Oh, okay. You're going to have to wear a foam and a board. There's yeah. a foam and a board. Five to yeah. six weeks. Foam and board. After mm -hmm. six, five, six weeks, you can go on the foam and the faha as well mm -hmm. for so about three months. when I first leave here, it's the foam, foam and board. board. Yeah. You're going to leave here first. You're going to leave surgery with just the faha that I'm going to put you on. Okay. Put you in the faha. You will keep, stay on in that faha for 24 hours. The next day, you're going to come here and get your massage to be drained. Okay. I don't put physical drains. I can't. Yeah, you told me that. Wants it, but yeah. I don't put physical drains if you don't have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the masseuse will massage all the fluid to get that fluid out. Okay. Remember, to soften the fat, you can't just liposuction dry. Yeah. Dry lipo exists, but it, you lose more blood. Yeah. So you put some fluid, and in the fluid, there's medicine called epinephrine mm -hmm. to shrink the vessels. This mm -hmm. way you bleed less. Yeah. Okay. You know? So they fill you up. So when you're getting lipo, because when I got it, like they fill you up with this liquid, so you're going to look like a balloon, and then they suck it out. Oh, Correct. okay. And the other things I want to tell you is, is that I will be using a cell saver on you. Okay. Do you know what a cell saver is? Uh, it's a machine. Kind of. As I liposuction fat, what happened? I suck out blood. Fat has capillaries. Yeah. That's how it lives. Yeah. Suck out some of the blood and some of the fluid. Now I we we will I'll decant them into a, a little a, a little container. The fluid will go down with the blood down, and then the oil up and the fat in between that I'm going to use for transfer. Oh, okay. So the bottom I liposuction that fluid that blood. It goes into the machine. We clean it. We wash it. It gives me back some of your red blood cells back. Oh, okay. It's like a blood, the blood but yeah. it's not full blown blood that they give in the heart. Not 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 full blown pack RBC. Okay. But at least why why waste it? Yeah. If I can put it back into you, and that's something that I do for. All okay, guys, people. we are at the second location, Hi. and um, they have a new location right here, which is on Sunset. Uh, 7130 Southwest 87 Court, Miami. Um, this is their new location. So Ta -da! Let's check out. Thank you. Wow, very nice. Ooh, it smells so good too. So pretty. So you guys, if y'all get surgery, you guys have two locations you can pick from. What 
you doing, man? Hello. <laughs> Very nice building. So this is their second location, you guys. So cute. Smells so good. Ooh. Are we going back here? I don't know where we're going. Are we going back? All right. We just made it back to the crib. Yeah, go ahead. It's on the table. And we are getting ready to take the kids out. And we're going to go to eat at this one restaurant. And we're going to go to laser tagging uh, until Jessica surgery tomorrow. So, oh, I had to change because I'm like, I can't laser tag. Luckily, I brought me some um, workout gear because we plan to go in the gym anyway. So I had to get out the purple outfit because I can't. What what Javon? Alright guys. So we went to get we went we went to eat at this like shoe place, right? Um shoe? it's like the decoration of the shoe, it's called Holy Grail. It's called a Grail. It's called Grails. And they had like these little cups of like Air Force, I mean of the ones, the shoe. And I didn't ask the price and when we bought it, that shit was a hundred dollars and the other cup was seventy five dollars. So it was hundred and seventy five dollars for for a cup of a shoe cup a shoe cup a cup in a shoe a cup shape in a shoe cup i don't know but anyways then we went to an arcade and now we're at we're at winn dixie to get jessica some greens i told her the doctor said get greens and we got fruits and greens because they've been eating up everything and i think we need some rice because it's should we get like butter then i have or butter at home we got i bought butter yesterday oh. it is surgery morning here we are Headed out the door. Are you ready, Jessica? Silva, are you ready? ready. Say goodbye ready. bye to that. Bye bye bye. Move it to my ass and hips. <laughs> we don't even need a trip. <laughs> you may hate me, but it is no lie, baby. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> it is early, you guys. I got up. Got my little dress. This is my little. A little dress for today. It's giving. It's giving. <laughs> it's so early for me. I've been constipated. I bought a freaking yellow dragon fruit to eat so I can poop. Nothing is happening. Nothing. I was up from three to like four thirty. I fell asleep at one. Between three and four thirty, I was just up, like t counting myself to sleep. Ten, nine, eight. Sleep. Nothing ever happened until like 4 30. Okay, we're headed to the surgery place. Yay! All right, they have a whole upstairs area. We're in the elevator. This is the day. You why you look like a person visiting um like Vietnam or like one of these foreign countries? <laughs> it's the pants. These are my airport. The pants clothes. with the book bag. It looked like you're these about to um, travel to a third world country. Good morning. morning. Pre-op time. Say bye bye to this. I'm not very nervous. You'll be fine. Everything's gonna be good. People do this every day, B. Eleni is here today with us, and she got Jessica a robe. Stretch would love this. <laughs> so you can wear because you know you can't slide in and out yes. and it's freezing in here you know they keep it cold in here you guys oh, to I kill the it. bacteria it's than the robot. well it's not better mimi got me the robot robot. oh for christmas the white you brought the white one up now yeah <laughs> right no, this thinking, one is black and safer so comfortable though <laughs> i was thinking maybe you brought the roll but it's like a light color it is it it's is. white uh -oh. mm -hmm. uh -oh. it uh -oh. is. thank you that one more when you've like healed oh, and you yeah stay to me what are we doing today? Giving me a million dollars. Well, maybe we can win the lottery, you and I, afterwards, okay. and go pick some Thanks. numbers. Deal. Pick some numbers. Today, it's March. Okay, March 3rd, and however long this surgery takes. Sorry. I have Dr. Nassif at Myra Life Plastic Surgery, and Jessica's gonna have Lipo 360. Uh, we're gonna, she lost about 40 pounds, which is great for her. It's good for her body, good for her healing. And we're going to be basically doing liposuction using a power assisted device. We're going to lipo the whole area, the flanks, the lower abdomen, 
the mid abdomen, the upper abdomen, and we're gonna do it symmetrically on each side. And that's what I'm doing some markings for Jessica now. A little ticklish. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> it's okay, you're gonna be okay. But it's normal to be nervous, you know that. It's very normal. I would be nervous if I was having surgery. But you know you're with I'm gonna take good care of you. Yeah, you know. know you're in a I safe know. place. You know you're with a safe surgeon. Yes. Who will do whatever I can to keep you safe, keep you well, and give you good results at the same time. So we're gonna lipo to the top, we're gonna lipo around the belly button because most people do not like that donut donut yeah. shape here. Right. Now after after the liposuction, it's on you to get the compression, yep. to get the massages, yes. to get the radio frequency if you need it, and to use the foam underneath as well. And you're gonna follow the instructions anyway. Yes. We'll guide you throughout the process, nothing to do. Remember when I lipo when I do the liposuction, what happens? You have a lot of empty space. So you need to compress, right. compress, compress in order to get what? This is the anesthesia, guys. So nice to meet you What's guys. up, man? <laughs> All right. So tell me, what are we doing for you today? What are we doing? Knocking yeah. me out. All right. That's what <laughs> I'm here for. I'm a little nervous, though. You'll be fine. Like, super nervous. You go to sleep, you wake right. up, it's over. That's exactly how You don't it even know how, how many time, how time, how much time went by. I know. It's amazing. It's I like know. three, two, one. Oh. 30 seconds. We're pass. done? Boom. We're done? Recovery. Yeah. Right. So okay. easy. Right. Moment of truth. Let's Moment roll. Moment of truth. And it's time. No, no more anxiety now. Now you relax. Anxiety. You, me you meditate. Meditate and say a nice prayer. I will take good care of you. You know that. So you want to say good hello to everyone? She's ready for our goodbye. For All right. Bye bye. Bye. bye bye. bye for a short period of time. Good luck. I'll be Thank back you. to pick you up. I stop here. Yeah. That's it this Thank way. Thank you. Say bye to the back. Picking Jessica up. I got puppy pads at the house for her. We got some for the car too. We got the little stickers. This so that all her leakage and stuff won't mess up the bed and stuff. Got my help. <laughs> Jessica, you guys. Fresh out of surgery. I feel like door hangover. Oh, look at little, look at my little handicap. <laughs> Come on, puppy. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Miami life, plastic surgery. In the back. Mm -hmm. there I, don't you know, go. I don't know what I can tell. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Move the chair up. Do you think you need to move your chair? Your chair. Oh. Good job, Jessica. Good job. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, Jess, we're going home. I got your medicine. Oh, oh I got to close the door. It, I got it, I got it. <laughs> you want my bag? Yeah, I got it. Your book bag's in the trunk. Hold your legs up a little bit, Jess. I don't want to hit them. Okay. Oh. I was like, hold this car. <laughs> you can Thank walk? You. Okay, let me get you some water. So we got the pads all out. Look, she got her chin lipo. I forgot. I was like, why does she have this over her face? Me too. <laughs> they didn't have it on me like when I was laying there. You're actually moving pretty good. Okay, let me get you some water in the bed. Graphic disclosure. Okay. She got her full faha. It's going to leak, so we have all of the mat, the doggy pads. She took some medicine, compression. Um, there's a few medicines that they have you taken. Tomorrow, she's going to get her... Uh, Massage, but today she's gonna get rest. She literally just got out. Look at the fucking ponytail. Look at <laughs> what the fucking ponytail through here. <laughs> I, I felt it. <laughs> All right, she's gonna get her rest, but so far, so good. She's safe.
I'll update you so guys now later. that Jess is in there relaxing sleeping resting getting better it's like they have a bucket pool okay <laughs> it has like it has like a water where it's cleansing but it has a little Miami vibes background just don't look at like the rusted part I haven't been in there I'm just gonna sit right here and let myself tan a little bit you know but yeah tomorrow we're gonna go to the beach <laughs> take the kids to the beach this is Raphael and he is with GHS Infusion and he is going to pump Jessica with some vitamins. We, I've never had this before, Jess. I never had nobody had this. So hopefully this this speed it up. So our first day. You don't look too bad. It looks like you got shot. Pop, 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 pop. Three times. Four the times. The front is bad. The front is bad. Yeah. Front was there, where all the fat was coming from. Is there more pads? Yes, there's a whole, there's a whole bag. You saw it? Cause I need to put more over there. <laughs> He's like, once I finish, I'm leaving. I'm taking my shit. Get that good mane, that crack vein. Pop it up. Huh? Yeah. It's empty over here. I don't want to. <laughs> Stretch face walking across the the, the door. <laughs> Getting some iron. Pump, 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 pump it up. Uh, look at that ponytail. The ponytail tripping me out. <laughs> this is so cute. You should do a TikTok with the ponytail. I can't so, even look. pick up my phone. Like, it's, it's uncomfortable the way I'm laying. I have to move this pillow for a second. It's Airbnb dinner. Looks good. I made it with three seasonings. <laughs> Some butter. It's probably bomb. It ended up good, though. Earlier, I fried an egg on top of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you. The shoulders, the beef shoulders that were three dollars. Oh, these are it. Yeah, three dollar beef shoulders. Not bad for three dollars. No. Are <laughs> right, you want some more water? But one thing about me and Stretch is we we up in the gym, Miami gym. The gyms are really small here. Okay, show them big muscle. Whoa, gally sexy man. <laughs> so um, clean Jessica, fed her. She gave her some pain medicine. She should be out. Told the kids to watch her as we went to the gym. So now we're heading back. Alright. See you look, look at the body. Look at the body. Look at the booty. Whoa, look at the back. Look at the back. Whoa. Today's the next day. I made Jessica some breakfast. Um, we she's doing better. The bleeding is way less than last night and um let her eat and then take medicine rest and we're gonna go to the beach for a little bit and come back and check on her but this is her breakfast i made her i made her a egg cheese and turkey sandwich so we are her. day two in how are we feeling how was but last night how was your sure. first night a little um you know tossing and turning but not turning but can't turn comfortable yeah i can't turn so it's com getting comfortable but i it was good I, yeah i feel better today. you survived I first survived. day today is gonna be a better day it gets better from here the first <sighs> night is always the worst with the leakage yeah and it was getting comfortable like a coke i gotta remember i couldn't turn so but yeah it's good mimi took care of me good <laughs> all right eat your food thank you Mimi. <laughs> all right guys so this is shamara this yes. is jessica's lymphatic masseuse okay and she's here today to um massage out all of the liquid out of jessica's body yes i will show y'all jessica but it's a little aggressive so. <laughs> uh, so she's going through it she's going through it but uh we're getting the massages right now mm -hmm. so that she can um drain out all her fluids yeah. Right. I'm about to smash your stomach. Ooh. Ooh. This YouTube, you're fine. Okay, YouTube family. So, uh, we want to talk about how important it is to get your lipo massages after you get lipo.
Okay, so with post-op treatments, we tend to treat the whole body. We provide therapy to the whole body because your lymph nodes tend to swell up and we just assist them so that way it does its job. So it helps decrease swelling. We help with um, aiding in sleep, providing oxygen throughout the body, no blood circulation. Um, I mean, the, the the benefits are just endless. Yeah, and it's smooth it out. Because you can tell a girl who, a bitch who got like, stomach lipo, you know what I'm saying? It's lumpy. Really? And a lot of times it's lumpy because they're not getting the, you know, the massage they need to smooth out all the fluid. So it take away all the lump. But anyways, she is located here. Her Instagram is Muñeca Services. Yes. Okay, Muñeca Doll Services. I was like, I know that Spanish word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, save her info. So if you ever decide to come to Miami uh, and you need a masseuse for this, she was very patient. She was very kind because Jessica was having a hard time uh she was very patient with jessica so i do appreciate that thank you oh, thank you all right appreciate it. Bye. we're day two in she's going to her post-op today are we day two or day three? three day three in my bad i'm sorry she had her massage yesterday she didn't survive we'll go to ask for some more drugs stronger drugs no. going in Sorry. into the facility today <laughs> they're gonna do her um post-op there's no parking so i had to Let's stretch walk her up. All right, everyone. Post up day number two. This is only 48 hours. Obviously, swelling is gonna right. start setting in there. You're gonna have a little bit extra swelling. It's gonna go down as time passes by with compression and with the foam and the board for five weeks. And then she's gonna continue with the foam and compression for over three months. Now, her pain is very manageable. She's not a complainer. Her pain is great. She's manageable with, with minimal uh, medications. She's walking. She's actually waking up every three hours, which I told her not to wake up every three hours at night. When she sleeps, she sleeps. Sleep, have a good night's sleep, then keep walking and moving, and she's doing everything correct to avoid any risk of blood clots. And as far as healing-wise, it's perfect. Nothing unusual. The bruising will be used by some Arnica cream. She's getting her massage as well today. She got the massage yesterday. And I think every day she's going to feel better and better as far as improvement in her health, in her uh, stamina, and everything else. In, in addition, she asked me a few questions about post-op care. We're going to go over it. I'm going to see her again, obviously, tomorrow and before she fly back home. And I'm looking forward for the final result. Remember, LiPo 360 will take away the fat in the front and the back, full back, and give her a better waist. And you see that waist started to form. It's gonna look better as time shrinks, shrinks the skin. Fat transfer, optional. You want a fat transfer, you can't transfer it. You just want the LiPo 360, and, you, and, and you're happy with the volume of your buttocks, then we're discussing it, me, me and Jessica. If you're happy with the volume of your buttocks, you're okay. You can just do the LiPo 360 and get that shaping that you want. You need more volume because you want more projection, you want hips, but at the expense of a little bit longer recovery, and that's realistically true, a little longer recovery. Remember, what's bothering her the most is she's sleeping on her stomach, you know, and if you had LiPo 360 only, then you could be just laying down on your back and moving with no issues. But because you want, she wanted a little bit more fat into the buttocks transfer, that's when she's had to comply now with a little bit longer recovery, but everything will heal well and she will look great. So 360, done on this young lady with fat transfer, as well done on this young lady and I think as you see as time passes by she's gonna look better and better and better with weight management obviously you have to keep your weight down you cannot go and gain weight so don't go and eat 20 20 bucks of ice cream <laughs> so don't gain a lot of weight because you want to keep it down and let the fat settle let the fat look good and let the skin shrink which takes up to a year sometimes up to two years with the right management and the right um, uh, diet and the right weight uh, uh, management as well. Looking forward to seeing Jessica's picture passing through and hopefully she will be in contact with me and we'll keep in touch as well. Good job, okay. Good. Thank you. You look good. Just like you said, we have to be honest to them. People have yeah. to know, you know, as you suggested, of course. Yes, you have to be realist. Well, yeah. I liked you too because you did view your background with weight management 100%. too. So it's like you knew everything about you know and i've done so many that's what i did before they even went to uh, before they go to uh before they go to uh, bariatric surgery and all this stuff yeah I just i was telling them this is you can do bariatric surgery but you have to continue this mm -hmm. lifestyle yeah you know? and you're gonna look good well that's, that's why that's, I, that's gonna look good too honestly and something else mimi mm -hmm. helped me 
Uh -huh, the biscuit, the biscuit. <laughs> the biscuit. Did you hear about the biscuit? <laughs> the biscuit. I wake her up and ask her, do I get a hold of Mimi? Yo. We get a hold of Mimi. I was thinking about it before y'all even did. brought it up. I was like, I hope that they did that because I remember mine. Yeah. No, no, Moose knuckle. And I, and I was like, you know, believe it or not, sometimes some people don't want to do anything. That's that's like, you know? It looked crazy. It, it looked crazy. Right. I used to have one. It and was so crazy. Know, everyone has their own. Like sometimes you have somebody with a mole on the face and I'm looking at them like, okay, you'll look better if I take that mole off. But she but they probably want emotionally it. attached to it and they want it. Yeah. Or the husband yeah. wants it. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. FYI, when we're That's talking about the biscuit, yeah. we're talking about the cuda cat. You know, because like when you get lipo or you get stuff done and she needed to remove some of the biscuit. Because <laughs> they'd be like crazy big. You look crazy big when your stomach's flat and your coochie is just huge. So they did remove some of Jessica's top coochie. Yeah. yeah. Back in the room, see, she's able to move. So she's about to wash the faja, put a shower, put on foam. So this is day two, two and a half, day two and a half, almost three. So functioning, functioning, moving around. That's good. Yes. She just can't sit on her ass yet. All right, guys, today is Friday. Today is Jessica's final day going to get a checkup. This is where we're here for now. And you see she has to sit backwards like this. Okay, get out. Oh, get out. <laughs> I'm gonna go park this room. You get a massage here today? Yeah. Okay. Final massage here, final checkup with the doctor. We're headed out um early in the morning. So though I got sunburned. Like I got sunburned. Can you unlock it? Oh shit, yeah. yeah. I got sunburned so bad. Yeah, and now it's itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. I think I got sunburn on my head too. My head itch. We'll figure it out. I hate when that happens. Yeah, up go. here. So she's been, it's like a crime scene. It's bleeding all over the place. But it's almost over. It's mostly liquid. All right. Today is the last day and we're heading home. Show them going, your- going back, back to Cali, Cali. How do you feel? How was your experience? Um, it's been rough. It's an experience that I've never had before. Mm -hmm. Um. It's manageable. I'm not going to lie. The pain is tolerable. I'm only taking Tylenol. I'm yeah. only prescribed Tylenol, but it's just very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but the pain is manageable. It's not excruciating pain or anything like that. Yeah. And just not being able to sit or lay on your backside is, is weird. Mm -hmm. So we'll check out this plane ride. Yeah, well, you guys got to wait till she heals and stuff. You know, she's still swollen, still leaking. So... It's nothing it's, glamorous. It's gonna take like six months to to heal. Yeah, there's nothing glamorous about laying in pee pee pads and blood and liquid. <laughs> Wait till the dogs see this. <laughs> oh, right, right. Well, guys, we are about to hit the pool. We're gonna hit, take the kids. You know, kids if they still on su summer spring, spring vacation, break. spring break. So my little swimsuit today. I got really bad sunburn up here, so I'm gonna cover myself. Forgot. I haven't been in the sun in so long. You know, it's been so rainy in um, California. So, a lot of the oh, the a lot of the, the people who are joining the contest or whatever, they're like, "Are you gonna take care of us? Are you gonna, if I win, are you gonna take care of me?" Absolutely not. <laughs> it's so much, you know. But I mean, it's not that much. But if the price is right. I gotta fly out, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta fly me out, rah, 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 change the pads, shower you. I've been showering Jessica, use my dial soap, get in her butt, <laughs> wash all of her crevices, wash up, uh, clean all the pads, put it away, make sure she get medicine, make sure she eat. But she's moving really good, so it was really just the first day that was really hard. But um, other than that, after that, she's been moving around, so she feels a lot better. But yeah, guys. Um, I'll film some of the airplanes so y'all can see how, you know, you have, she has to sit on the way back and stuff like that. That's going to be a process, too. Okay, well, uh, just as we're covering, <laughs> uh, we took the kids here to the Splash Park for Paradise Cove. They didn't really have a lot of water parks around here. It's not Orlando. It's Miami. Okay. What you talking about McDonald's? You keep talking about McDonald's. What about McDonald's? Huh? <laughs> Our YouTube, the birds are chirping. It is five o'clock in the morning and we are headed to the airport knocked out jessica booty 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 rocking everywhere jayvon <laughs> um just decided we're gonna pump a little bit of gas 
Because me personally, I do the refill. Take it back on E. They give you a pretty good deal. So. But we're like 28 miles. The place is 28 miles. So pump a little gas so we can like put $5 on that bitch. All right. Jessica just can't sit still. I told her ass sit, sit back until I get back. Here she at at the chaos. Pretty sure I want to turn that to. You paid for it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how long you guys would be. Like, you got lost. She's so bad. She's trying to take everything. <laughs> Jessica's walking real fast. She's want to carry everything. So clearly, she's her healing process is pretty good. She got her jock strap around her neck. <laughs> she won't let us take her bag. We're trying to take her bag. Well, we're about to um, about to take off, so we'll be home soon. Okay, let's go over there where the empty seats are. Okay, so she do have a pillow. So she got her butt pillow, and she is basically the butt pillow is like on her thighs. You got to scoop back. Make sure it's on your thigh. Mm -hmm. We survived. Had it back home. <laughs> Baby is sleepy. Hmm. Okay, so we're practicing, you guys. Look at it. All right, guys, I'm gonna close out this video because uh, we landed for the airport. Jessica hopped in a car with her boyfriend, and she's been gone. Skirt gone. <laughs> um, so I can't really show you guys any more videos with her. She's gonna be over there for a while because she can't drive back home. So she's probably gonna be with her boyfriend for a while. So I can't give you any more updates of what she's looking like. But I can't anyways, anyways, because technically she's gonna be swollen. She's gonna be in a healing process. So to see her final results, of course, we'll make another video later on in the future in a couple of months when she's all healed. And But anyways, WBL was success. Miami trip was success. Um, she got her surgery. Uh, she got everything that she needed and um i'll keep you guys updated thank you guys uh congratulations to tiffany who was the winner of the free BB bbl giveaway and um thank you guys for watching uh tuning in and participating love you guys bye